This is Maria and this is Hester and together we are the, the Concert Counselors. <laughs> focus on how to start a piece and the first method we are going to try is very simple we look at the time signature of the piece which in this case is 4-4 four, four. count and hear and feel the beat in your mind take a breath during the last beat of the bar and make a little gesture up and down in this way your partner will immediately understand the atmosphere and the timing beat may not be the best option. For example, if we look at the fourth movement of this sonata, the presto, let's try what happens if the leader takes breath over four beats, or over two beats, or maybe even over one beat. Okay, shall we do first four beats? Yes. version do you think is best? So until now we have been sort of combining breathing but also the visual thing of that we look at each other and see the movement but you can also split those two up or eliminate one of them so for example now let's try to start this presto again with an upbeat of two bits but without the sound of the breathing so just with the movement shall we try that? <laughs> We can also try <laughs> to turn the backs to each other and then only listen to the breathing. Exciting! Exciting! <laughs> because we didn't even say who was going to take breath in the first place. Sometimes it's even possible to replace the upper body movement for a different one. Namely by tapping your finger on your instrument as a mini conductor. Yeah, what I like about this one is that it's almost a secret. People have no idea that you're going to start. It may be even interesting to see if we can start without any signal to know exactly when the piece should start and when it's the right time and to get to know your colleagues at the best. When you are doing these exercises, uh, there are a few things that you have to pay attention to and one of them is be careful that you don't leave any time between your breathing and the moment you start playing, because in that way you will be too late. Oh, you see what happens? Now Hester was a bit too late, because after the breathing, which was very clear, she was waiting. And also be careful that you play in the tempo that you had in mind beforehand, so you indicate with your breathing or your movement how fast it is, and then stick to that tempo. Oh, and another little warning, be careful not to move too much or not enough. And especially be careful with movement when it's on the way of your musical ideas. Today we would like to point out two DVDs uh, made by Daniel Brugge. 
Daniel Brugge was a member of the Amsterdam Lucky Stars Quartet and now he is into making documentaries and movies about our instrument. The first DVD he made is called Richa Kata and this is about a search for the soul of our instrument, the recorder. And the second one, which was released last year, is called Master Makers and was presented at the Open Recorder Days Amsterdam 2017. And it's a portrait of five of the best recorder makers in the 20th and 21st century. You will certainly enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have questions or comments for us, contact us here. See you soon. Bye.